Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Her name is Putri Ariani. Have you heard of her? No. Huh? This is my next video. It's with Putri Ariani. If you watch my channel, you know I'm a big fan. I think this young lady is so talented, and I love her personality. I love her spirit. I love her voice. So, this episode is with a roadie buddy of mine named Brent Brito. If you haven't watched any of these sessions with him and I reacting to music, he's a good dude. He's a sound engineer. He's worked for people like... Paul McCartney, Carol King, The Beach Boys, Living Color, Andrew Dice Clay, Millie Vanilli, In Excess, Mary Chapin Carpenter, Jennifer Hudson, Brian McKnight, Dream Theater, Blink-182, Unwritten Law, Strata, Off by One, Saliva, Seven Dust and Cool and the Gang. He has quite a resume and he's a really good guy. So we'll jump into this together and we're going to see what he has to say about Putri Ariani. Let's do it. So this is Putri Ariani. I think she's a, a tour de force. She's very young, you'll see. And she's a wonderful singer. She is out of Indonesia. The track is Beauty and the Beast, man. <laughs> and I thought that might be something different for you. I didn't. I know for sure you weren't expecting me to play you Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> but uh, have you ever worked with David Foster? I presume you know who he is. So. I know who he is, but I haven't worked with him. I worked for, um, with Ricky Minor when I was working for Jennifer Hudson back in the day. Okay, cool. So yeah, he has his he has his fingers in a lot of awesome pies. He's had an amazing career, and uh, this is him performing actually with Putri Ariani. So you can let me know what you think. You obviously know the track, but you won't know her. You said so. Let's give it a go. You might know the guy who jumps in with her too. I have an idea. Yes. Okay. Peebo has many big songs, as you know. <clears throat> and this next song, he usually sings with Lauren Allred. But I thought it might be kind of fun. I hope you know the song. I would be kind of fun if he sang it with Putri. Would you like to try that? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Shall we do it? People Bryson, are you there? Welcome back, People Bryson. Oh, please. Poetry. Hello, people. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. All right. I think all the people here know this song because I grew up with this song and I love this song so much. And Unbelievable, I can sing with you. Oh, please. The honor is all mine. Isn't she absolutely amazing? Show her some love. Much. You'll recognize this song. Two, three, four.
Was it amazing? What'd you think, Brent? She's great. Oh my gosh, her voice is huge. Yeah, it, she really is. I, I just picture. <laughs> so what'd you do today, Dad? And you're like, oh, I listened to Beauty and the Beast with Joel on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> that's why at the end there reminded me of my kids nap time <laughs> yeah. but in all sincerity that song warms uh, my heart you know I, I just think of that the wonderful scene in the film but uh, of the acts you've worked for then what song first comes to mind uh, uh, that warms your heart every time you hear it oh I don't know sorry I don't know I'm, I'm... I hit you. Yeah, hit me right. <laughs> Sorry. No, I I, I, yeah, I don't. I don't know. A lot of I listen to music a lot, so it's it's a hard it's a hard find. All right, you got a tough heart. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go back to some shredding, and uh, we'll go back to Japan. Have you heard of Nemophila? No. Uh -uh. Let's jump into that. <laughs> Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.